<laughs> hey y'all i'm back with some more gems okay and i do want to focus on empathy today and how being empathetic um can sometimes be to our detriment empathy is known as putting yourself in another person's shoes and taking on said emotion to better understand a person um which i find empathy i find empathetic people to be the most um purest people of them all because they have the ability to truly step out of themselves and learn about other people and kind of um develop a closeness with others y'all see bombo he always want to act a fool <laughs> in my videos so as i was saying um being empathetic could also lead to us um not being able to fully have a control over our own emotions and fully understanding what makes us feel some type of way versus how another person's feeling. So it, it can make us um, have a hard time differentiating somebody else's feelings versus our own feelings about certain situations. Uh, for example, you're in a room with a bunch of people and somebody walks in and they aren't exactly your cup of tea and you feel this energetic um sadness or anything you just feel something's off about that person right and literally because you're getting that feeling from them you internalize that feeling and then it makes you feel sadness and depression as well that means that you don't have fully full control of your own emotions you cannot differentiate yourself from someone else that is a problem so then the question becomes how mentally strong are you if you cannot answer that question if you cannot go into a room full of sad and depressed people and still maintain your energy that's a problem <laughs> that's a that's a problem um our goal is to ensure that we are able to as empaths we are able to understand the people around us we are ba we are able to put ourselves in another person's shoes to develop and bridge that closeness with someone else however we need to also be able to detach and ensure that just because somebody is feeling a certain type of way, we don't have to feel the same emotion and we don't have to carry it, carry that out through in our lives. So I can't go to a freaking hospital and see all these people crying and then go home and then feel sad every single day because I'm a doctor. I can't. How can I thrive? How can I have my own life? if I carry everybody's emotions on my back. So the main question right now is, how do we stop being an empath? <laughs> so the key thing is to detach. We have to be able to detach ourselves from other people at times. Well, other people's emotions. We don't always have to sit there and take on other people's problems and um, find ourselves in everyone else's shoes. We can be sympathetic sometimes without being empathetic. I can truly feel sorry for someone and feel uh, I can understand what they're going through without putting myself in their shoes and having to share the same emotion, you know? That doesn't need to happen all the time. <laughs> I love you to death and I will help you moving forward, but I'm not going to sit there and wish that. I'm not wish that, but subconsciously put that energy on me, if you understand, if you get what I'm putting down. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> it's understanding that someone else's problems isn't always your own. And that's and that's all period. <laughs> all right, let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> because the um theory behind it is that if you go on, right, and you're taking up um, you're putting yourself in somebody else's shoes, right? And internally you're processing this emotion of whatever happened to them onto yourself, then subconsciously you're attracting that same situation to yourself. The law of mentalism, y'all. The law of mentalism basically states that all is mind and everything that we think about usually comes into reality. Um, so if we constantly think, that we are, um, I don't even know, we are very confident people, then ultimately that confidence gets um, exuded and people start coming up to you and being like, oh, wow, you, you're a very confident person. Why? Because internally you feel that way. You have thought about it. You have willed it to be. That also uh, uh Ties to the law of correspondence, but we don't got time to go through all the laws right now. <laughs> okay, so that is how that can tie into taking on the feelings and the emotions of other people. Because it can literally become your reality. So to wrap it all up, we can be sympathetic. We don't always have to be empathetic. And... um. Always being empathetic can really, really, really hinder us from being who we truly want to be and hinder us from just being happy in general. Move, man, move. Well, I hope this gem has helped you. And if you have anything that you want to add, feel free to put it in the comment section, you guys. <laughs> Bye.